Hey everyone! Hey! And welcome to the Best of Studio C Christmas Edition. We got the best compilation for you guys, because Christmas is our favorite. So, if you like any of these sketches, at any time, just give us a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. A gift to us, for a gift to you, of all these Christmas sketches. Now, let's start things off with the first sketch of Christmas. We'll see what this one is. Hey, Timmy, be very careful with that. And Susie, why don't you put this on the mantle? And kids... This year we have a new tradition. What's that, Mom? It's called the Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> Every day he'll take note of whether you've been good or bad, and at night he'll fly off to the North Pole to report to Santa. Oh. I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> oh, no. It'll be fun. And the best part is every morning he'll be hiding in a new place and we can go and find him. But where is he going to hide? Oh, anywhere, Susie. He could be hiding... Anywhere. <laughs> I'll put them on the mantle. Have fun, kids. Mm -hmm. So you, you want to play a game or something? Yeah, okay. How about Risk? Risk is stupid. You're stupid. <gasps> Why do we keep looking away? I don't know! Waiting for us to slip up, then BAM! No presents! I'm only eight! I can't deal with this level of stress! Just calm down, we'll find that little narc, and when we do... Timmy! I'll check the points set at the the flowers. Okay. Okay. No. Oh, so he's, he's, I don't see anything. Is he over there? No. I have no idea where he could be. <gasps> ah, <laughs> I got him. Give me some rope and a tiny chair. What are we going to do? Whatever we have to. Jimmy! He's gone again. <gasps> he escaped using his witch magic. <gasps> Our only hope is to get him out of the house. He can't rat on us if he's not around to witness anything. But where is he? Where are you, Santa's little stool pigeon? Check the stockings. Okay. Be careful. He looks like he would go for the eyes. Oh. Oh. Where are you? Yeah. I don't know. He's not. There he is! No! No! no. 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 I got him. Wait, wait, I got him. Wait. Be gone from this house, you mini Edward Snowden! <laughs> Jimmy, are you okay? Oh, we're okay. The nightmare is over. Kill him! Kill him! Die, tiny demon! Knows too much. Yeah. And if, if he gets back to Santa, we won't have any presents. Is it too late to switch to Hanukkah? <laughs> no. I am so angry at both of you. Why would you trash our house like this? What were you possibly thinking? <laughs> Timmy, get the rope. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure it's okay with your roommates that I'm crashing at your apartment? Oh, for sure. They love company. Especially my roommate, Kevin. Guy hates being home alone. Oh, dude, are you okay? Why would someone do that to the door? You guys give up yet? Or are you thirsty for more? Kevin, what is wrong with you? I told you I have one rule. Never, under no circumstances, leave me home alone this time of year. Whoa, man, calm down. We just wanted to come into the house. Never! <laughs> My man, that 
was a knee-jerk response. Who throws a brick as a knee-jerk response? You've seriously injured my cousin. He'll be fine. I know from experience that a brick thrown three stories high is practically harmless. He's just being dramatic. Watch this. <laughs> Okay, bad example. What was that noise? Sounds like some bad guys just tried to break into the apartment. <laughs> Jeremy, what happened? I'm not sure. Steven and I tried to use the back entrance and there was flame and feathers everywhere. Okay, we've officially confirmed that bricks are dangerous. But it's the only way I know how to defend this apartment. Steven? Looks like someone tried to use the bathroom sink. The man is a skeleton. This is nothing new. He will fully recover from this. There, you see? Steven, I can't believe that you're okay. Why? Okay, I'm sorry, but can we at least acknowledge how good of an aim I am? I mean, I should be in the major leagues. You should be in prison! You need serious help, man! There's only one person who can help me! And I doubt she's even still alive. Kevin! It's me! Don't be afraid. Follow the star in your heart. You don't call me for 23 years and I'm supposed to trust you?! I gave you turtle doves, woman! Was that our AC unit? Why would you throw that? I ran out of bricks. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but I am leaving. Forever. You can keep my stuff. Foreman let me go early. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now, Della, I know we promised no gifts this year, but... Oh, Jim. Well, I, I got you a gift, too. Della, you didn't have to do that. No, go ahead and open it. You, too. Okay. <sighs> oh, honey, these are very nice, but I sold my hair. What? I sold my hair to pay for that chain for your watch. <gasps> but I sold my pocket watch to buy you those combs. You 
did all that for me? Yeah. Why in the blazes would you do that? Okay. Here we go. Would it have killed you to leave a note? A note. Yeah, just to say, hey, Della, off to the market to sell my watch. Don't! Cut off all your hair and completely trash your beauty in a misogynistic society where long hair and good cooking are the only things you're good for. There is no way we could afford enough paper for a note that long. Well, then scratch it into the door! Oh, don't put this all on me. A simple good morning, sweetheart. Don't go and sell your precious heirloom watch and buy me a box of useless combs because I'm going to straight bick my head today. Would have been great. You know, if you would have just stuck to the agreement of us not getting each other Oh, Christmas don't play yet. that game. I knew you were going to give me something. Nuh-uh. Every time. It's always, oh, thanks for sticking to our agreement, but I actually love you, and I didn't eat for two weeks to buy you this hat. <laughs> Well, sue me for wanting to surprise you. I hate surprises. Nobody actually hates surprises. They do when their surprise is canceled out by another surprise. Well, that's what you'll get for wanting two surprises. I didn't want two surprises. Okay, <clears throat> sweetheart, why don't we just sell our gifts and um, buy a nice Christmas dinner? That's something we can both enjoy. You, you want to return my present? Is that not okay with you? Well, you can. It's just that I put a lot of thought into it and a lot of hair. Okay. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I don't have a pocket watch. Well, you can hang it from your pants, you know, like all the cool kids do. <laughs> you know, just, just like, what's up, home slice? <laughs> home dog. You know, so, so. I'm not the one who has to pull it off. No, come on, let's just sell it and you go, no, get a big, nice, Fat goose. I am not selling your gift, and I'm a vegetarian. No, you are not. We're just too poor to afford meat. I didn't say it was my choice. Tell it. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> oh, what's up, S.A.? No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Before we get started, Christmas caroling, I just wanted to thank you for coming. This is really special that we get to do this together. And Celine Dion, thank you so much for joining our little group again this year. Um, but Celine, I just, so last year you stole the stage just a little bit. So mm. if th maybe this time you could not do that. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Please just say you'll try. You'll try. Okay, close enough, let's go. La 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 Don we now our gay apparel La 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 Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying Five golden rings Celine, just, 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 just bring it down, bring it down, okay? Joy to the world Joy to the world No! Okay? No, all right, there is no joy, there's no peace, and your heart will not go on. Oh, uh, that's a low blow. Just why do oh, you have this? Okay, I'm very blow? sorry. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, everyone, so our last house is old Mrs. Smith's. Everyone stay warm, and we're going to be singing Oh Holy Night. Okay? <clears throat> oh Holy Night is um, sort of my song. I mean, if you look it up, it actually says, Oh Holy Night by Celine Dion. Uh, I, I just think if you don't want me to do what I do, um, that maybe we should sing something less powerful, like um, Frosty the Snowman or what? something? No, like this is our finale, okay? okay? So help me, you must contain yourself. No, you're right. I will fade into the background. No chimes, Celine. Lasting, I promise. I... Okay, just put them down. Okay, put them down. Let's, let's go. Oh, holy night. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. The thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn.
Celine! That was beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I oh, know. Yes. Oh. It happens a lot. Matter of madness, are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past, the first of three spirits which shall visit you this night. Why would you come to torture a poor old man? Because if you do not change your ways, thy soul will be taken. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare, ghost. Where is the ghost of Christmas present? You mean ghost of Christmas past? <laughs> no, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Well, so is he, because I trapped him. So he's no longer in the present, he's in the, he's in the past. We get it, you fool. <laughs> Scrooge needed to hear his message. What's going on here? Ghost! <laughs> You just vaporized my old partner. Good show! <laughs> Booyah! Or should I say boo nah because he's gone? A <laughs> ghost pun! Yeah! No more! Don't you dare shoot Christmas future! No! Ghost! <laughs> what was that? That was self defense. Self defense? Who all else is in here? Let's see, there's the Hogwarts ghost, uh, the ghost of Elvis, and the uh, Pac-Man ghost. <laughs> Mr. Scrooge, sir, could you spare a farthing for the family? Ghost! <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was also self-defense. That was Tiny Tim. Yes, but he totally dodged my proton stream, so... Oh, really? He, yep, he's surprisingly agile. So. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is that Tiny Tim? No, no, that's uh, Petite Paul. <laughs> You're a monster. Look, guys, Tim probably got what he deserved. God bless us, everyone. Even the man that put me in here. You know, Mr. Scrooge, in comparison, you having people work on Christmas doesn't seem so bad anymore. A uh, humbug. Look, guys, I've made some mistakes, but it's Christmas. What would Tim want? Peace on Earth. Shut up, Tim. Fine, we will forgive you this once, but don't let anything like this happen ever again. I won't. Thank you, guys. Hi, sorry to bother you, but do you know where my friend Casper is? <laughs> He really was the friendliest. Hey, babe, you watching the new episode? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a party going on right now. I know, I'll be right there. Okay, just... Great sketch. Really funny stuff. Oh, Kesha Fan 77. We meet again. I really like Studio C, yeah? Except for Steven. There it is. He's the worst. What's with this hair? What is with my hair? You're mean, Kesha fan, 77. I wish I'd never been born. All right. Goo, what? What? You've never been born. Who are you? I'm Clarence, your guardian angel. And tonight you get your wish. Let's see what life would be like without you. I wasn't being serious, man. Wait for it. Coming. Just be patient. Ah! Oh, my yeah. insides. How did that happen? Oh, don't worry, oh. you'll get used to it. Oh. Hey, you recognize this place? This is where the studio used to be. Yes, but without you, there was no show. <sighs> they tore down the studio to make way for a bad part of town. What? Yeah. Hey, it's Matt. He'll know what's going on. Matt. Hey, Matt, can I talk to you? Just, it's Steven. Can you talk right now? What? Why doesn't he recognize me? Because you don't exist in this world, Stephen. <sighs> Just look at him. The sad eyes, small frame, the tiny prepubescent body. So what's the difference? I was getting to that. Without you, there was no show. 
And he never did sketch comedy. Oh, man. I ruined his comedy dream? Yes. Asterisk. <laughs> what was that? What? Uh, no, I mean, well, he's got a leading role in a very popular sitcom, but you're right, no sketch comedy. What channel is he on? NBC. Isn't that a way bigger deal? When? No, it's, I mean, it's kind of, well, hey, look, it's Adam and Natalie. Adam, Natalie, hey, I'm so glad I found you guys. I really need your help. Uh, do I know you? Yes, I'm Steven. We work together every yeah. day. No, I, I think you've got the wrong people. Yeah, sorry. What? No, what? <laughs> What's wrong with them? Well, in this world, they work 80 hours a week for an evil company. Oh, man, what company? Habitat for Humanity. Clarence, that's a charity. Really? Oh, I, I thought it was like an evil people zoo. You are a bad angel. You're a bad angel. I'm starting to think this world is actually better off without me. What? No, maybe. Uh, oh, hey, look, it's now. Now, you see, without you, she eats all her meals from a dumpster. Yeah, she already did that. Well, that's... That's true. Yeah, that's true. At least now she has a shopping cart. Aha! <laughs> Corn! Mm. Oh, yeah. Is this a bag full of caviar? This part of town isn't even that bad. It's weird that she chose the corn, right? All day corn. Corn for days! Oh, what? Whitney! That's Whitney! She'll remember me! All right. Whitney. Who is this dude with my wife? Well, that's her new husband. He's a billionaire philanthropist rugby star. He's also named Stephen. Boo! Jimmy Stewart's wife became an old hag! And Whitney said she didn't want to have any kids. Well, not your kids. Okay, why are you showing me this? You're supposed to convince me that I do want to be born. Well, that was my plan, but I'm starting to have second thoughts. Okay, well, too bad. Because despite appearances, I know my friends are worse off without me. Oh, no. I'm so rich, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, buddy. Super chance. <laughs> super chance. It's beautiful. <laughs> I want to live again. I want to live again, please. Let me live again. Um, am I back? Does the snow mean I, I need something less ambiguous? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna assume I'm back. All right, go! Yeah, man, did you hear? Kesha Fan 77 died from a horrible fungus. Oh, wow. Thank you, Clarence. And you're just in time to film our season goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Lots of love from the Studio C family. Wait, are we filming right now? Yeah. Um, wait a second, where's Mal? More corn! Mm -hmm. More corn! Anyways, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Look, Stephen, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Oh! Oh, it hurts so bad! Oh, make it stop! Stop ringing that bell! Oh, it feels like... Oh, man, I'm feeling the Christmas spirit. I know, I just want to go drink eggnog now. I do, too. Can you help us out by subscribing? And enjoy the rest of the Christmas sketches. We've got a lot of work to do before Christmas, so let Sweet eggnog! <laughs> what is going on here? There he is, fellow elves. Look upon the face of the oppressor. Tyranny, thy name is Sprinkles. <laughs> oppressor? <laughs> I'm just a shift manager. What is the meaning of this? We're forming a union to have a voice in the workplace. Yeah. And a shrill, high-pitched voice it is. <laughs> The working conditions here are lousy. The average temperature is negative 45 degrees, and you make us wear tights. Yeah. It's havoc on my... It's havoc on my sciatica. Yeah. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Santa has always paid his workers fairly and decently. Boo! No, no. He pays us in candy canes and hot cocoa. Now I'm living 
with aggressive type 2 diabetes. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Cinnamon's teeth are rotting out. Uh-huh. Oh! <laughs> Great maids of milking. It's like staring into the abyss. And you won't let us go see that one elf that actually became a dentist. Yeah. Hermie is dead to me. Uh, would it help if we hired more elves? The hiring process is already questionable. We're pretty sure some of us are just children dressed as elves. Yeah. It's adorable. Yeah. And illegal. Yeah. And we have no maternity leave. Yeah. If you're eating for two, then you can work for two. So what's this all about? Payment? You want more money? And a foosball table. Yeah. You're elves! Just make a foosball table. We don't want to take our work home with us, Sprinkles. You know, this is getting out of hand. Think about how happy your work makes the world. You mean the two billion people who celebrate Christmas? Yeah, and most of which just want highly complicated electronics. Some of us had to get advanced degrees to put that stuff together, and now we're drowning in student loan debt. Yeah. Yeah. University of Phoenix repossessed my sled. Okay, sure. Those numbers sound high, but remember, we don't make toys for those kids on the naughty list. They get a lump of coal. Coal they have us mining. Yeah. Uh, hey, there's been a collapse in B-Shaft, so we're gonna need to use dynamite if we're gonna meet our quota. <laughs> That can't be good. <laughs> I just don't understand where all this anger is coming from. The candy cane stripers and the lollipop guild are unionized. And they got dental! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Just pay the elves fairly, get a dental plan, and outsource the more complicated stuff to China. Yeah. That's simple. No deal! What's to prevent me from hiring a bunch of scabs? I bet those Middle Earth elves will work for cheap. Oh, <laughs> Okay, okay, put a foosball table in the break room and we'll throw out the dental plan. Deal! Yeah. Yeah. Once upon a midnight cheery, while I waited weak and weary, near the fireplaces I'd done on Christmases before, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of reindeer gently rapping, rapping atop the highest floor, I whispered quietly, It's him! <laughs> or perhaps I screamed it like a wild boar. Time to get my gifts galore. Ah, distinctly I remember, twas the 24th of December, and I had just sent several letters saying I'd been good the year before. Eagerly I'd wish the morrow, no more would I have to sorrow, for I had wished the perfect gift that no one else had wished before. Toys R Us had many choices I could surely not ignore, so I requested the entire store. Filled with wonderful elation, waiting with anticipation by the fireplace until I heard a knock upon the door. That was odd, I thought, confused. Why would Santa use the door? Right, I recalled, this thing is fake and simply set up for decor. In fact, it plugs into the floor. Perhaps if I'd been slightly stronger, I'd have waited slightly longer. But I wanted my gifts right now, so I ran to reach the door. Once I had stepped foot inside, then I would offer him a bribe and stand and watch as he supplied the many gifts I'd humbly asked before. Here I open wide the door, darkness there, and nothing more. What? Back into the chamber turning... Oh! 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 Holy snickerdoodle! I said as I lay prostrate on the floor. Shirley, couldn't you have waited just outside the front door? <laughs> no matter, said I. I won't keep you long. Just leave the gifts and hum a song, for I know you have a very long and busy night in store. With a single gift. Less is more. <laughs> um, 
I said. I disagree. <laughs> Try not to let him see that what I wanted most for me wasn't toys from the First World War. <laughs> I did not want one toy, thought I. I wanted the entire store. I argued back. More is more. Then the Santa condescending, his lame and pithy gift rescending, took whate'er that stupid thing was and dropped some coal onto the floor. <laughs> You're no longer on the nice list, and this present you will soon miss, because coal is stupid. <laughs> Not only had he crushed my dreams, he ruined the whole rhyming scheme. And his cold, judgmental gleam did cause a rage ne'er known before. Time to even up the score. You will give me what I've asked for. All the toys in the toy store, or you will spend this Christmas Eve bound and tethered on my floor. <laughs> then back towards the entrance turning, all my soul within me burning, my adrenaline was churning as I dead bolted the door. Sadly, it had come to this. Getting gifts was such a chore. Empty the bag onto the floor. How dare you dare to threaten me? For I'm Santa and you'll see. I can't be pressed to giving better gifts when you want more. You little children need to learn that true respect is something earned. Quiet, wretch, it's now my turn. I fired my red rider into the floor and overhead so I'd seem hardcore. Quoth the reindeer. <laughs> Which I think is reindeer for, ow, you shot me. <laughs> Blitzen would be flying nevermore. The fearful fat one then complied, emptying contents as he cried. Now old St. Nick was not so smug as he appeared to be before. But then I saw to my chagrin the bag had little else therein, and I cried. What fiendish sin, the toys! Why are there not more? The North Pole, sadly, all has melted, and my toy shop sank offshore. We should have listened to Al Gore. Oh, oh, honey, this is the perfect present. Well, oh. I know how much you hate trying to barbecue outside. What with us living in the frigid north and all. Uh, you're so thoughtful. Oh. Mm. Now, open your present. Oh, all right. There you are. Let's see what we have here. Oh, what could this be? It's a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> A paint roller. You keep saying how you want me to paint the kitchen, and now you can do it. There's also a gift card in there so you can buy the paint. And if there's any money left over and you want to get us a new power saw... What's wrong, dear? Nothing. Okay, good. Of course something's wrong. Huh? Honey, you always get me the worst gifts. I'm sorry, what? I mean, we're talking hundreds of disappointing Christmases. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? I'm Santa Claus. My name literally means best gift giver ever. It literally means Saint Claus. Tomatoes. I've built my life on this. Every gift I've gotten you was golden. Oh, every gift? A dust buster? You love cleaning. Homemade coupons for free hugs? You love hugs. Batman and Robin? You, you love the $5 bin at Walmart. Unbelievable! I'm sorry, okay? I get letters all year long from children who tell me exactly what they want. With you, though, it's always subtle hinting. Oh. Was I suddenly hinting that I wanted to take part in your stupid love language experiment last year? No, I've already admitted that that was a terrible idea. Oh, I have it right here. No. Oh, here it is. You are the most beautiful woman in this, the most desolate place on earth. 
So to be clear, your language is not words of affirmation. <laughs> Nicholas! Fine, point taken. I guess I'm just the worst husband ever. Despite being immortal, owning a fleet of flying reindeer, oh, and filling every child in the world with unspeakable joy. <laughs> You need to watch your tone, okay? You are always so irritable Christmas mornings. You're like Chris Cranky. I just ate 12 billion cookies and I'm coming off the craziest sugar high you've ever seen. <laughs> Not to mention the elves are unionizing. Of course I'm Chris Cranky. Oh, blah, blah, blah. My life is so hard working one day a year. Uh, a 24 hour day. And yet, with 364 days off, you still can't find a better gift for your wife than a Home Depot gift card. Now, I don't need this. I'm going sledding with Blitzen. <sighs> Sweetheart, I'm sorry. I didn't... Sweet gingerbread, I almost forgot. I got you another present this year. Oh? Yes, it's a bathroom scale. <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep in the workshop. Friends! Ah, Jaspis! <laughs> so good to see you again. <laughs> we were just preparing to depart to Bethlehem to visit the manger. Forgive my truancy. Even as a wise man, it proved difficult to find the perfect gift for the Prince of Peace. Ah, yes. And what gift did you choose, Jaspis? I desired something both precious and unique. So I traveled through Egypt for three months to the land of Punt and found a bottle of frankincense. Oh, a perfect gift indeed, Jaspis. <laughs> I too traveled far mm. to the Arabian Peninsula, nearly losing my life in exchange for a bottle of myrrh. How glorious. Yes. <laughs> Brothers, I have a confession to make. I'm afraid that my gift did not require a long journey. Oh. But verily, I did sell all that I own to procure this gold for our Lord. <gasps> Balthazar. <laughs> Most impressive. Yes. <laughs> Doron, I nearly uh. forgot about you. What have you found for the Almighty One, even the King of Kings? Well, uh, I decideth to be a little more practical in my gift selection, so don't judge. <laughs> of course not, Doron. I'm sure that you spent many years selecting a humble yet appropriate item. Yes. Yes, that is, yep, sure did. <laughs> well, we better head out, brothers. <laughs> Show us the gift, Doron. Is it just me, or, or is the star starting to look a little dimmer? You know, we, we should get going. <laughs> Show us the gift, Doron. All right, fine. But remember, we all agreed beforehand on a 10 shekel limit. And none of you followed that. Relax, Doron, for it is not the price that is important, but the thought that truly... I got him a gift card. <sighs> that, that's great, yes, <sighs> yes. Why did I put this off until the last minute? This is like the least wise thing I have ever done. I'm sure it'll be fine, Doron. <sighs> no, no. You guys always do this to me. You remember last year at the Wiseman White Elephant Gift Exchange? You brought an actual white elephant. How was I supposed to compete with that? I'm sure your gift will get used eventually. Yes. Uh, yay, perhaps Joseph will use it to buy a new tool belt. Yes. Tool belt? Or as a re-gift. <sighs> but, um, but, but in any case, brethren, we must depart. No, I can't show up to the manger with this. Mary's gonna be like, gold, frankincense, myrrh, gift card? Okay. Wow, what a perfect gift for my son. AKA, the most important person ever! Right. Settle down, Doron. Just make sure that you give it with- Even the shepherd boy is gonna one-up me with a cute, adorable baby wool hat he made. Man, they're gonna call me a fool man after this. Look, I'll tell them we went half seas on the merge. Trust me, he'll know that we didn't, okay? I mean, I just gotta pray that this gift is good enough to- Wait. This expires 1 AD. That's today! I gotta come up with something else, out of my way! What are we going to do, Jaspers? They're expecting four gifts. You need a fourth gift, you say? All right, let's 
Let's take the little drummer boy. Get out of here while Doran's distracted. Yes. Go, 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 go. Hey, guys! I did it! The perfect gift for... Guys? Guys? Hey! Oh, I see how it is. So you're the three wise men now, huh? Yeah, like that'll catch on. Y'all gonna miss me! And I want a bicycle, and I ask you every year, but you still haven't gotten me my dragon. <laughs> well, we'll put that on the list this year. Okay, good. okay well, time to go. No, I still want more presents, like a Nerf gun or that dragon. Don't forget. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, man. The kids get weirder every year. <laughs> and taller. Okay, who's next? It's me. It's my turn. Oh. I'm next. It's me. Goodness, hi. I've been holding these Skittles in my hand since I woke up at five this oh. morning. Okay, no, Kyle, Kyle, how many times do I have to tell you not to lick your hands in public? Uh, Taste the rainbow. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's your name, little guy? This is my hyperactive son, Kyle. Oh, Kyle, don't eat that. Oh, it's okay. He once ate his fork at dinner. Prongs first, just break down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this snow tastes like salt and hamsters. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and meet Mr. Santa. Santa. Oh, is it really you this time? Where are your reindeer? Are they over here? I don't see any deer scat. Well, I bet they're back at the North Pole, huh? Is this your Christmas tree? No, Kyle, no, Kyle, 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 how many times do I have to tell you not to dive into the shrubbery? No, uh, your presents are empty. Is your beard real? No. Oh, Kyle, oh, Kyle oh. don't pull on the nice man's beard. I'm sure it's glued on very tightly. No, it's real. Oh, this is a classy mall. No, is this your throne? Can I climb it? You want to see me do a backflip? Kyle, I'm sure he's seen you, seen you do a flip before. Remember, he's Santa. He sees everything. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you saw me wipe a boogie on your boot? What the what? <laughs> oh, neato. No, okay, Kyle, Kyle, don't lick that. You don't know how many mall Santas have touched that. Ky Kyle, Kyle, don't make Mommy get the spray bottle. <laughs> now, Kyle, why don't you tell Santa what you want for Christmas? Probably an Xbox, right? No, I already have two. Hey. <laughs> How do you get around to every house in the world in one night? No, if I wanted coal for Christmas, would I have to be bad? If I were bad and I still wanted coal, would you give it to me? Because then you'd be rewarding me for bad behavior and that would throw off the whole naughty and nice list thing. True. Kyle, how many times do I have to tell you not to ask paradoxical questions? Yeah, I ask paradoxical questions. Yeah. Okay, no, Kyle, Kyle, stop pulling on his beard. Kyle, look over here. Look at mommy, come on, come on. Focus, focus, concentrate. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, okay, Kyle, come oh, on. Why don't we go oh, home and you can run on your treadmill? No, by seven, tell Santa what I wanted. Well, tell him quickly, right now. I want some dry shorts. <laughs> Bye, Santa. Look what I found, Mom. Hey, that's, that's mine. Nice. You can keep that. No. Merry Christmas. Cool, now I have two iPhones. We're so excited to see new faces. If you ever need anything, we're right next door. Oh, and real quick, no big deal, but we noticed you don't leave your porch light on and we were hoping you might do that. Just because we have a lot of kids in the neighborhood and we try to keep things nice and safe so they can play at night. Like I said, no big deal if you forget. I'll just leave a little post-it note to remind you. Just want to make you aware. <laughs> Season's <laughs> greetings, the Hartfords. Hi, Hartfords. Thanks so much for the warm welcome. By the way, the cookies were delicious. Carol, we sure to leave that porch light on for you. I noticed that most of those kids playing out there are yours. <laughs> I actually saw the youngest one eating dirt the other day and I thought, so cute. <laughs> you must be so proud. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Love, love the Joneses. The Joneses. Hi, Joneses! Hard to believe it's already been a year. Seems just like yesterday you moved in. Jennifer, thank you for all of the makeover tips you've given me. <laughs> you really have shared a lot of advice about improving my appearance. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the baked goods we left you. Carol really outdid herself this year. And thanks for the ones you left us. Oh, that's right, you didn't send any. <laughs> oh, JK, JK. <laughs> We know Jennifer's really busy with the blog and her cat, and we have six kids, but oh well. 
We love having you as neighbors. Looking forward to the new year. Oh, and just a friendly reminder about that porch light. <laughs> we know it's easy to forget, but you know, <laughs> kids and safety, it's important. <laughs> Maybe you just haven't been seeing the post-it notes I've been leaving. All, All our love, love, the Hartfords. Hey, Hartfords. You two are the best. Thanks again for those cookies. Carol, you were just the sweetest. I'm sure no one would accomplish anything in this neighborhood if you weren't there to tell them what to do and how to do it all the time. <laughs> and those post-its are great. You must be keeping that company in business. Uh, they must, like, really love you. That's great. <laughs> we gotta have you two over for dinner sometime. Maybe New Year's? Yeah, Carol can cook, and I can help take care of that small army you have for a family. <laughs> Didn't the oldest one graduate this year? Oh, or was he the one who dropped out to start a ska band? Oh my goodness, I hope not. I would feel awful for bringing that up. All, All our love, love, the, the Joneses. Joneses. Well, another year has passed and- Yet you still forget to turn on that stupid porch light! Trained monkeys could do that! Even untrained monkeys might accidentally bump against the light switch! You're doing it on purpose, Jennifer! I know you are on purpose! We uh, hope this Christmas fills you with happiness! Since your life is empty! Love the Hartfords! Uh, I'm not sure what. Sorry about that porch light, Carol. Maybe I needed 10,000 more reminders. Too bad an acre of the rainforest had to die so that we could have your perfect cursive post-it papers. Oh, what's that endangered tree frog you want a home smothered by a post-it? Uh, perhaps we should all just... You know what? Maybe you should have saved one of those little reminders for your son. Hey, honey, this is just a friendly reminder to not drop out of high school. P.S. Have fun performing for the five people who still listen to ska music. All, all our love, love, the Jones. <laughs> Dear Jones, I will lend you Jennifer! Hey, maybe we just let this go. <laughs> All the porch lights in the entire neighborhood were mysteriously smashed to tiny pieces last night. You think that's funny? Okay, you think that? I'll show you something funny. <laughs> honey, <laughs> honey, why are you writing out the evil laugh? What, why are you writing what I'm saying? Stop, stop writing what I'm saying. Love the Hartfords! Yeah, I wrote this card in blood. Guess who's? Please. Where is my cat, Carol? Where is my cat? I think if everyone could just take a Oh, we are beyond diplomacy now. We crossed that threshold when you left your last post-it on the brick you threw through our window. Oh, maybe if we could get everyone... Enjoy the pie I left you. What's that? You didn't notice one? Oh, that's right. I left it inside your house. Better find it soon because the recipe called for eggs, flour, and nitroglycerin. Happy holidays. Love the people who are going to kill you. Uh, dear neighbors... <laughs> This is Susan from down the street. I'd like to ask you to keep the noise down. <laughs> it's loud and frankly rude of you, so please show some respect for the other people on the block. <laughs> Thanks and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hello and Merry Christmas, Susan. <laughs> should be here any minute. Come on, Mal. Is Santa even real? You can't doubt Jason, otherwise you don't get presents. <gasps> Santa! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hello, Santa. kids. I hope I got the My Little Pony I wanted. Did you get the PlayStation I want? Hey, Santa, if you're real, then where are all the presents? Well, you see, kids, I really wanted to go the extra mile this Christmas, so I analyzed each of your love languages. Love languages? Hmm. For example, uh, Mallory, your love language is words of affirmation. So, here is your gift. Your hair is the most beautiful hair within at least a one mile radius. <laughs> but we're in rural Kansas, there's no one else in a one mile radius. Whitney! <laughs> Your love language was acts of service. Okay. So I donated all of your gifts to charity. Don't you feel a lot better? Technically, yes. Steven, my boy, 
Your love language was quality time. So... <laughs> I'm glad we did this. Yeah. Hey, what about me? Oh, Jason, your love language actually was receiving gifts. So here is a skateboard. <laughs> And uh, an iPod. And a vacation to Hawaii. <laughs> and uh, why don't you take this PlayStation as well? I'm sure that he doesn't want it anymore. <laughs> Kids, what are you doing down here? You don't want Santa to see you. Herman Jones, your love language was physical touch. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Ho, ho, ho. Candles all aglow. They shine so bright across the snow. And churches... Oh. Oh. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there you are. Oh, thank you so much. Is that carolers? I think so. Aww. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Thank Good you so much. We oh, bring you're not done to yet. You and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. Right, it's uh, getting a little cold, so now we're just gonna. Bring us some piggy pudding, now bring us some piggy pudding, now right. bring us some piggy pudding and a cup of good cheer. Okay, we, we need to go now. We won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get very persistent. some, so bring some right here. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we don't have any figgy pudding. Sorry. So, you can leave now. Alright, seriously, I'm calling the cops. I don't think that you should do that, cause we've got all of your phones tapped, and Bob will break both of yeah. your backs, so don't touch that phone. Wait, you're threatening us over pudding that no one eats? We're going to burn your house down. There's nowhere to hide in this town. No rest till we hunted you down, and you'll live in fear. What do you want from us? Please give us all of your money, and don't try anything funny. Just give us all of your money, or this dog dies right here. <gasps> no, not Rufus! No, no, no! Okay, hey, 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 Right, get out of here! How dumb do you think that we are? We know that you drive a Jaguar. Now give us the keys to your car and we'll be on our way. I told you not to buy that car. It makes you a target. I'm sorry, but I'm... There! Just kidding, you really are dumb. Did you really think we'd end with that one? Now give us your child's trust fund and all of your assets. Oh, it's, it's his future, man. Oh, it's... It's oh, look at the little boy. It's just... He's only one. There. I hope you're happy. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. <laughs> oh, oh, man. We really did have figgy pudding. Oh, every year. Every viewer who watched BYU TV <laughs> liked Studio C a lot. Eh, it's all right. I mean, no, it's pretty good. But the Grinch who trolled on YouTube did not. The Grinch hated Studio C, first, second, and third seasons. Now please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. They're performing again. Ah! He snarled with a sneer. Next season will be their fourth. It's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously reeling. I must find some way to stop them from feel me. Why, for 32 episodes, I've put up with it now. I must stop season four from coming. But how? Then he got an idea. An awful idea. 
I know just what to do. So he made a furry coat and grabbed a club used for striking. Why, with his horn hat and cloak, I'll look just like awkward avoidance Viking. Then he snuck into BYU Broadcasting, which was no cinch. But if Anne... It's Anne. A Anne? Huh? Anne, come on, I've been on the show like 40 times, people. Yeah, well... Are we done? Huh? Yes. Ah! If Anne the Librarian could do it, then so could the Grinch. Then he stole all the costumes, going completely wild. When he heard the cute sound of a tiny man-child, he turned around fast <laughs> and saw Matthew Meese, who looked at him with big eyes and said, This is awkward. But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. Look over there! I'm not falling for that. That he used his club to take Matt down real quick. Then he grabbed all his things and said with a scoff, Now up to the roof to throw this junk off! The episode is almost over now. The Grinch said in defiance. Now here comes the best part, the uncomfortable silence. The applause. It came without costumes. It came without props in the rafters. It came with that group of untalented actors, and yet that guy's still joking from laughter. Uh, actually, I, I think he's really choking. Uh, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna ignore that, okay. All right. And what happened next? Well, on Facebook, they say... <laughs> my laugh and my cry sound exactly the same. The Grinch became a fan of Studio C that day. Like, all right, I admit, lobster bisque is aight, and, and Ann is smoking hot. And he brought back the stuff they used in their shows. And he, he himself, Wait. the Grinch, was invited to close. Thanks for a great year, everybody. And from our family to yours. Have a Merry Christmas. We'll see you on season four. Well, it's that time of year again when you've Ooh. opened all your presents and uh, the video's over. Christmas comes around every year, so what sketches should we make after this? And until then, we're gonna do a gift exchange. Got you this pillow. I got you this pillow. 